Grand Rising, Grand Rising, welcome to the Karmic Circus where we expose all of the karmic -y ass clowns. Collective, I want to start off this reading by telling you this is not a personal reading. This is a general reading. I'm reading for everyone. So only take the parts that resonate with you and leave the rest. If it don't fit, don't force it. Just relax and let that shit go. Don't be trying to go over there to Sue's. You know, take her your puzzle piece and fit it in the puzzle over there that belongs on another side of the puzzle. Okay? It don't work like that. So, um, if I say he, it could be she. This could be a karmic energy. It could be a friend. It could be a family member. It could be a lover. It could be an ex-lover. It could be a neighbor. It could be a co-worker. Your spouse. A friend. Family member. But these are just general energies that surround me with the divine collective. So if you're divine, then <coughs> you may you may resonate with these energies. Because karmic energies come towards the divine to knock us off our path. If you have a spiritual gift, if you have a certain pathway that you're supposed to be going through, going down, it's it's energies out there that will come to slow you down. Okay. There's somebody out here, you banish their spirit, their energy. We have a Pisces here. <coughs> and I'm asking everyone to hit that thumbs up button for me. Yeah, here's ghosted. Here's loss. Here's losing money. Severely delusional illusions. You have a Taurus out here. Irresponsible. And something is changing. So collective. Some of you could be a Pisces energy. Some of you could be dealing with the Pisces. You could have ghosted a Pisces. Either you or this Pisces is losing money right now. Because they were irresponsible with the Taurus. Okay. There could be, you could be a Taurus and you could have banished this karmic. Or you could be a Pisces and you banished the Taurus. The two signs that I see out here is a Pisces and a Taurus. And for some of you, the Taurus is irresponsible. You could have seen something changing about this Pisces or this Taurus. Someone is feeling at a loss. It still could be either this Pisces or this Taurus. But the overall energy is you banished their karmic energy. Okay. Tell me more about the collective banishing this karmic energy. Tell me more about the karmic energy that was banished. Tell me more about the karmic energy. Lazy eye, evil eye. This person could have a lazy eye. And they could be throwing evil eye at you. We have secrets. We have crying over you. And we have dog. So some of you could, could, may consider this person as a dog. Secretly, or this dog is crying over you, or you have a dog actually that's crying over you, or you could be crying over a loss of a dog. Somebody could have been um, secretly irresponsible with your dog. Again, someone with the lazy eye. <coughs> Somebody is suffering from severe illusions also. They could have been an illusion that they can ghost you and have you crying over them. But they they got they, they bubble busted. They was in an illusion and they see that something is changing when it comes to you. And you see something changing when it comes to them because this person is irresponsible. So you basically, they ghosted you and you banished them. <laughs> see... You 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 go they ba they ghosted you and banished you banished them. And there is no competition. 
to number four. Bipolar. Queen versus peasant. On a mission. Dreadlocks. They lied to make you look bad. Proposal. Mental facility. Fuckboy energy. Throw their ass in a tent. Karmic terror reader. So, with the queen versus peasant, but there is no competition. Okay? Somebody is on a mission to make you look bad. Okay? And this is the fuckboy energy that somebody is dealing with. Throw their ass in the tent. Alright? Throw the motherfucking monkey clown circus ass in the tent. <laughs> Throw them in the tent. This person may be coming towards you with a proposal. And they need to be in a mental facility if they think that you're going to marry them. And for some of you, this is a karmic terror reader that's out here doing some shit. Where there's no competition, you can read cards. You can be uh, clairvoyant, audiovoyant. And it's a tarot card reader that's out here that's bipolar. That's in competition with you, but there is no competition. She's a karmic, okay? Okay, so tell me more about this karmic tarot reader. This karmic tarot reader could be bipolar. She could wear dreadlocks. She could have been on a mission for four years. Now, on a mission, it don't have to be bad. Somebody is using them for money. They envy your success. We have a witch doctor. They was trying to make you jealous. And if anything, when they was trying to make you jealous, they was on a mission to try to make you jealous and you stopped communicating with this person. And he was laughing at you. So it could be a karmic tarot reader out there that's laughing at you. Now, you could be laughing at them. I see a Leo energy. You could be laughing at them and I see a Virgo energy. Okay. So tell me more about this karmic tarot reader. Tarot reader. Tell me about the karmic tarot reader. With the occult. They said you was on drugs. Juggling. So this is a karmic reader that probably your person was dealing with. You probably don't even know this person reads cards or say they read cards or if you read cards, they could have um, be trying to copy your content and your person may use this person. OK, they was using your person and your person was using them. See, they was using your person for money. And your person was using them to try to make you jealous. This is why you stop communicating with your person, because you know. And then once you stop communicating, here they come with some sort of proposal. It don't have to be a wedding proposal. It could be a proposal to get back together. It could be a proposal to be engaged. And this karmic envies your success with your person. Now, this could be happening for you right now. This could have happened in the past. This could be happening um, presently or in the future. Okay, and this could be a family member, a karmic. It's a Capricorn energy. Entrepreneur. They spell work backwards, backfired. It wasn't in the pocket like they thought. You have an Aries in reverse out here. A bird in reverse. We have racism. 
So it's a Capricorn out here, a devil energy. Their spell work is backfiring because they thought they had it in the pocket. Um, these people don't know how to, this person, don't know how to connect with spirit. This person is a racist. Secretly, they're a racist. That's just, that's just ugly. <laughs> that's all I have to say is the shit is just ugly for king homeless came in reverse COVID codependent hex backfired there is no competition so again whoever this is that's in competition with you there is no competition they are trying to put a hex on you they try to do Spell word, the shit is backfiring. And now this person could be homeless. They try to put make me homeless, but they're going to be homeless and they're not going to be able to survive. Okay? They kicked me out of my house, the, the energy of the enemy. But these same people who had something to do with whatever your misfortune may be, they're about to receive misfortune 10 times worse than what you did. Okay? So tell me more. Stress. Someone has a Nissan. Someone likes fried chicken or someone don't like fried chicken. Someone don't like riding a bus either. Somebody could have uh, just got off the bus and got a Nissan. Somebody, the car could be a Nissan and something could have been wrong with it, with their Nissan, and it could have been stressed out. Now, they could have, with their car, they, it, it, it don't have to be a Nissan, but it shows somebody has a Nissan out there and they're stressed about a Nissan. Somebody could be stressed about their Nissan. They told somebody not to eat in their car and they ate some chicken. Yeah, and the bird right here. Somebody could have been somewhere and they, they thought the chicken was a bird, but it ain't. They thought the chicken was fried chicken, but it ain't. This could be somebody homeless. Somebody could have tried. <clears throat> somebody could have tried to do some sort of spell work with some with some with a uh, chicken from the grocery store. I had that in a reading once before, where they tried to do um, some spell work with a, a store bought chicken. Some dumb motherfuckers. The chicken is already dead. God damn it. So what the fuck? Here's a Toyota out here. The number nine. Deception. Hit and run. They know that they're crazy. Chevy. So. It looks like um, somebody could be dealing with with. Somebody's dealing with a lot of people, for one. Um, somebody could be a, a deal with cars or something with a Toyota out here, a Nissan out here, and a Chevy. Okay. So somebody may sell cars. They may buy them from the auction and then sell them. Could be an Aries energy that someone is not talking to. Someone knows that someone is crazy. Someone ain't no snitch. Someone don't like fried chicken, don't like birds. Um, they don't communicate with birds, with spirits. Because they're deceptive. Okay, what is this stress about? What is this stress about? A truck. Somebody deals with, with cars and trucks. Somebody is stressing about it. A man carrying a purse. Caught off guard. 
We have child molestation, strength, curly hair, withdraw your energy, death, baby mama drama, earth sign, sick. So somebody could be stressed over their truck. Somebody could be stressed over a man carrying a purse. Somebody could be stressed because they got caught off guard in this situation. When it comes to something to do with child molestation. Somebody could be stressed because you withdrew your energy. And you put an ending to something. Somebody could be stressed because they're sick. But you withdrew, you withdrew your energy from this person and... and you put a death to it. And this caught this person off guard. And now they're stressing. That's for somebody. It's not for everybody. Okay. Take the parts that resonate with you and leave the rest. Some of you can be dealing with the earth sign or you could be an earth sign. Here's some baby mama drama out here. Somebody is sick about some baby mama drama. Somebody needs to strength to withdraw their energy from some baby mama drama. Somebody could have put an end to their baby mama drama. And this child molestation out here, a man carrying a purse with curly hair. Okay, Spirit, tell me more about this child molestation. Why is this child molestation out here? Why is the child molestation out here? They will never find another you. Bubble guts. Home. Weird. Intimacy. It's over. Manipulation tactics. They have regrets. Exposed. It came in reverse, so it wasn't something wasn't exposed. Number seven. Tesla. The devil in reverse. Okay. Somebody exposed the devil is over. You could expose something with somebody and you ended it with them. You could expose somebody something by somebody and kicked them out of their home. Or you could expose somebody and you could have moved out of their home. Whatever the case may be, this person is having regrets. Somebody has a Tesla. And um, they somebody could have regrets for doing some using some sort of manipulation tactics when it comes to intimacy. Um this person knows that they will never find another you. They may say it's weird, that you're weird, or you may say this person is weird, or you may have a weird sort of intimacy. Some of you may get bubble guts when you're being getting ready to be intimate with this person. Possibly because something was exposed or you know it's over, or this person is having the bubble guts because they know they was exposed and something is over with them, and they have regrets. And somebody owns a Tesla, It could be a 2017 text Tesla. Somebody pays for followers, subscribes, and likes. Ignoring them. Someone is no longer ignoring someone. We have an old van here. We have a water sign that someone don't trust. Because they have low vibrational energies. Drug addiction, crack cocaine is the drug drug addiction, prostitution out here, secret relationship. Y'all don't forget to hit that thumbs up button for me. We have bondage. So somebody's person, uh, they don't trust them because they're always dealing with low vibrational energies, such as prostitution, drug addictions. Crack cocaine. Um, if this person, if you're wondering about somebody on a platform and they're they're being ignored, so they, you know, they uh oh you was ignoring them. You may have a platform and you have somebody out there was jealous. So they started their platform and 
they pay for subscribers. You don't have to pay for subscribers. People automatically like your content. Okay? But this person, they pay for likes, followers, and all of that. To try to make themselves seem popular when they're not. Basically, they're, they're the prostitute online. They're paying people to watch them. They're a prostitute. An online prostitute. Damn, they make it some they they instead of them getting paid, they pay. So I guess some of the some of the and their prostitutes, their their clients are bots. Okay? Now that's not for everybody, but it's for somebody. Somebody um started some sort of social media and try to make it seem like they're very popular. But actually, they're they're paying the the creators of that platform to promote their shit. And when they when the creators promote your stuff, they're they're not. Some of them aren't even actually going to real people. Um, they pay you they you pay them to to spread your content, and they putting your content on people pages who's not even in their algorithm. It's just popping up. Okay, that's how some of mine's has gotten popped up, but I'm not paying for no subscribes, no likes, or nothing. But it's somebody online that's um, that's in some sort of competition with you collective. And you thinking that they pay just vibing and all of that? Nah, they paid for that shit, okay? We have Cricket Teeth. We have a Gemini. We have High School. We have love, beat up, beat down, the grass wasn't greener, a bitter ex, a Mercedes Benz, popular, but it came in reverse, unpopular, pornography, stolen identity, weight in reverse. So somebody got beat up or beat down, and this can be physically, mentally, spiritually, or emotionally. Somebody has cricket teeth. Somebody is in high school. Um, we have a Gemini energy out here. Somebody could have switched a child to another high school. I'm going to mess with my throat shot. Somebody could have switched, put their child in high school, right? Because their child was unpopular. They didn't wait. They wanted to go on and put their child in that school. And they still, this child is still, the child, They somebody put their child in the school and they got beat up. Or somebody's bitter ex is in high school. Um, it's a Gemini with cricket teeth. Now, some of you may have a student in high school. Be careful. It's a bitter bitch out here, and I see beat up and down. If these people is trying to get something, somebody to do something to your child because their child is unpopular or something wrong with their child, spirit is going to whoop they ass. Somebody got crooked teeth. Somebody's child in high school got crooked teeth. Or somebody's child in high school got beat up behind love. Your child, you may not know it. Their child may go to the same school as yours. Or you may have, they have somebody in their family or somebody they know that may try to get your child jumped or something. Or do something to your child. We rebuke that spirit right now in the name of Jesus. If they try to come against any child that's innocent, may they be slapped. I won't say from the face of the earth. May they get the shit slapped out of them to where they'll think before they go and listen to some dumb shit, Holy Spirit. And I'm thanking you in advance for whoever child that is. And somebody has a Mercedes Benz, it's, it's some pornography out here. The grass wasn't greener. So tell me about this beat up and beat down. Why is, why is somebody want to beat up somebody? 
You see the love right next to it. Somebody could be, you know, wanting to beat somebody up because the grass wasn't greener. They could have left you and went to somebody 10. It's over. Something is over, and this is why somebody wants to fight somebody. Okay, so this is a different day. Somebody is mad because of some new love. Yeah, wedding and matrimony. Spirit is saying no. Somebody is in shock. A snake, a deception. We've got copy and paste screenshots. We got receipts for proof. They want your attention. They're sitting alone thinking about you. High vibrations. They only wanted them for love. I mean, they only wanted them for money, no love. Extremely fake. Sex magic. Flattened tires, lesbian and gay community. So somebody's dealing with somebody. Somebody could have flattened your tires because they want your attention. They could have flattened your tires for you to come to help them, for you, for you to come to them for help. This is a snake, somebody being deceptive. And see, now they're in shock because they did the shit, but you didn't call them and ask them to help you. Okay. This person is doing little uh, sabotaging events in your life for you to come to ask them for help. And some of you, they want you to come to ask them for help for them to say no. So don't even set yourself up. Don't ask them shit. Okay? With these flattened tires out here, somebody did this shit on purpose for you to have to come ask them to help either get them fixed or to fix them or to buy you another tire. This person is extremely fake and they did this shit and this person is dealing with somebody in the lesbian and gay community and they mad because you exposed it they didn't want nobody to know but why be fake about it if you like to lick pussy on another woman if you like to suck another man's dick or you like another man to hit you in the ass be real don't go around and getting involved in other relationships and that ain't what you want. That's the deceptive energy. You'll get karma for that. I'm asking everybody to hit that thumbs up button for me. Okay, so tell me more. Is receipts of proof out here? It's high vibrations. It's sex magic. Okay. Sex magic next to the flattened tires. Sex magic, they only wanted them for money and no love. So if they can constantly put sex magic on them, this person will constantly give them money because they think that the, the sex is so good. But there's no communication. This is a narcissist that somebody is dealing with. They're secret doing spell work on your finances. Just what I said. They put your, your car on flat. And if they're doing spell work on your finances, then you have to call them for help. And all of this spell work out here, a practitioner put spell work on you at the request of someone who is jealous. See, this person is jealous because they want you to have to come to them. See, you don't need them no more. You don't need them like that. You done healed. You don't call them and ask them for help or anything. And this person, now they need your attention because, see, apparently they're narcissists and they're sitting alone thinking about you and they want your attention. And they got with somebody only for love, for, for, for money, but no love. Okay? And this was it was sex magic put on this person. And the crazy thing is they they could have, you know, tried to put some, have they, like they paid, ask somebody, is making me stutter. They requested somebody to put some spell work on you because they want your attention. Okay? 
You wasn't giving them what they want. Because they sitting at home thinking about you. If this is resonating with you, hit that thumbs up button. It's collected. Okay. And this person is mad because you love yourself. They say, how dare you love your fucking self. They don't want you to love yourself. They want you to be sitting at home thinking about them like they sitting at home thinking about you. But there is no communication between you and this narcissist because you didn't found out that they are a narcissist. Okay? This narcissist could drive a Nissan. Well, I have to keep my card straight. Okay. This person is saying, what is love? They don't know what love is. That's why they can't communicate with you. It's a pure, evil, karmic, jealous, feminine energy somewhere close. Lied and said they was pregnant for money. Right? Just what I said. They only wanted them for money. No love. And they used the baby to, to try to like make this person feel like they love them. They love them so much to where they wanted to have a baby. No, they love you so much that so they wanted 18 years of finances from you. Somebody is still masturbating to your person. Or your person is masturbating to you and they pissed that they was dismissed. Again, they mad because you love yourself. House, home, foundation. You was going back and forth with this person and you finally left and they saying, I don't remember what I said. Can you refresh my memory? Hell no, I can't refresh your memory. So whatever the fuck you was doing to make you say that, you need to sit in the corner and think about what you did. Okay? You flatten my tires. Okay? Somebody in their 30s could have flattened your tires. Somebody in their 30s could be from the lesbian and gay community. Somebody in their 30s you could be going back and forth with. Karmics don't love. They love hatred. They laugh at your pain. Okay? Sick or sickness. They don't want to let them go. You know damn well that they ain't no good. There's no trust. There's jealousy and envy. Ask yourself, is he worth it? Is she worth it? Are they worth it? Ask yourself. And then answer yourself. And put your answer in the comments. Are they worth it? And put your answers. Okay. They busted a nut and called out your name. Gaslight. See, this person is still thinking about you. While they with somebody else, they busting a nut with your name. And, and now you have moved on. So they so mad, they got to try to figure out some sort of way that they can gaslight you. Because mm -hmm. see, they ma their magic is backfiring on them. They wanted you to be all, you know, still thinking about them. But they having sex and thinking about you. Mm-hmm. And while you're focused on your happiness. And your person that got itself caught up in a karmic relationship. With a karmic feminine. That's constantly gaslighting them. You're not letting them gaslight you no more. And this karmic feminine is, is full of jealousy and envy. And jealousy and envy will destroy you. And this karmic don't want to let your person go. And you ask yourself, is it worth me sitting around waiting for this person to see if they want to be with me or they want to be with this karmic? When you know damn well they ain't no good. So I'm going to stop right here. You all natural. Peace out.